Hello everybody, welcome back to Strategic Command, Paradox Gamer Plane. And last episode we bombed into the US Navy and we did some, uh, some pretty good damage to it. I did lose one of the four Italian battleships and another, another one here is badly damaged as well. But we uh, like can see here one battleship is down to four. There's another one here and then we have the destroyer at seven the British light cruiser and there was a carry out here somewhere and the rest we do not know the whereabouts so I'm thinking we should start with this freshly supplied ZUP send it out here and take a shot of this battleship now let's scout around a little bit with it oh there's the uh, CL and uh, you stop there. All right, these uh, subs over here. This one especially. No, this this one is down to supply four. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot of the battleship anyway. And then I think I'll go back to port with that one. Supply six, supply nine. This one's only supply six. Let's take a shot anyway. Missed. And bring that back to port. And we got this one. Should do some damage. No, I think we're a bit unlucky here. Let's move around the other way. Oh, there it is. Another battleship. Let's bring up this one. Ah, finally we got that one. Now let's bring this one back for repairs. Here. So, let's see what we got here. It's rough seas, a uh, storm actually, so the um, planes are grounded. I think I'll leave the destroyer and light cruiser alone over here because I want to get those battleships out of the way. I do have a couple more subs. We got this one. Let's bring it over here and take a shot. Now let's see if we can find that carrier. Should be out here somewhere. Nope. Alright, we have another sub here. Move down this way, still no carrier. This sub is only seven. This sub here is down to zero supplies, but I'm gonna use it to scout out that carrier. Well, there it is. And I'll actually take a shot as well. I think this sub here might have a shot. one damage and I take two in return. Let's get back home with that one. So the uh, carrier is at eight. We got a battleship at two and another battleship at five. So this battleship here needs to go back to port. St. Nasser. Just send it down here to Vigo for repairs. Right, so now we have the two German battleships and th and uh, and two Italian battleships. So let's see if we can start with the uh, battle cruiser. there and then how about a regular cruiser what will they do nothing okay let's try with another one there we go so how good is the battleship against against the carrier that's pretty good 
Let's do the other Italian battleship the same thing. Okay. Then we have the Italian submarine. Let's use that over here. Okay. So let's take the German battleship. This is the tier pits. Now let's finish it off with. This is the tier pits. Yeah, this is the Bismarck. Finish off that carrier. No! So that means I need maybe it's just a light cruiser will do the trick. Yes. All right. One light carrier out of the way. And that leaves us with actually just this one cruiser. And then several several destroyers. I don't have my hopes up for those. Let's try with this one first and see if it can can it do any damage at all. No. What about the CL? No. So that leaves us with the Spanish light cruiser. Hmm. I just need one damage to that one. Gotta take some shots with the uh, destroyers. Maybe with a lucky shot, we can take it out. No. Let's try the. Uh... Where did I leave the other destroyer? It's here. Did it take a shot? Let's try it. Yes, we got it. Okay. That means we can take this damage destroyer and bring it back. We got a, ba a battle damaged cruiser. Let's bring that back as well. Now that leaves the two carriers, which can't really do anything in the bad weather. All we can do is shield them from attacks. I'm moving them over here. And this uh, destroyer, yeah, just leave it there, I think. Yeah, I think this is okay. So visible, we have a uh, light cruiser strength four, the British light cruiser strength six, and the destroyer strength seven. And that, and there may still be others out there, but we just can't see them. Let's zoom out a little bit. And of course, more could be arriving from the west. So there's also a Spanish uh, heavy cruiser. Let's bring that through. And speaking of Gibraltar, let's put these guys over there. Okay, it's strength six. Uh, let's upgrade the, you know, reinforce the Spanish headquarter. Let's bring the light tanks south. Also bring the fighters up to speed by, by upgrading them first. That's a lot of points. And let's bring some guys <clears throat> towards Vigo so that US cannot land there. The rest of the Spanish, I don't think I'm gonna do much with them. Meanwhile in Ireland, we landed with the core last time. Let's take a shot. These guys is mainly to drive down their entrenchments down to two so that the regular core can do its business. Hmm. 
How good is this? I think we got it. I think we can move the, the, uh, the fun buck headquarter out of the way. I was wondering if, if we should put it up in the north. Let me just think about that for a second. Moving down here. Let's take the oil fields, move back to Basra. And we'll use this Africa reconnaissance to go around and grab stuff. But let's just make sure that we How far can we go? Yeah, let's move the armor north with headquarter. And the artillery. And then the Italians. Move to Hamadan and then come back up this way. Let's get the... Oh, we can move up this way. That's better. That's a shortcut. And the armor will go here. And then we got these guys, they can move to here, and these guys can move to here. Right. The aircraft. I don't know, just keep them around. Something like that. So the Germans will move in towards Tehran. The Italians will move straight up. And will threaten Baku from the south. Turkey, speaking of Turkey, uh, that was the wrong one. Going to the diplomatic screen. We now have three chits that we can spend on Turkey. Bringing the percentage up to 20. I wonder if we can use the Italians as well. No, that they, they've got a separate one. I think I just wasted 50 points there. Uh, anyway. So. Yeah, Eastern Front. Let's get to it. In the south. These guys moved away from Kerch. If I move back one more hex, I will have two. I will have a wider front. So I think I'll do that. And up here, I want to upgrade my fighters to level 3. And reinforce my bombers. All the way up. And we want to take care of this um, special forces unit. Let's start by attacking with these guys. And swing them around like that. And then attack again. Attack with that one. And with the Bulgarians. That way we can reinforce the Panzers. And just grab Manopole. And then let's move the headquarters down south. Towards these two guys over here. So it would be the Romanian's job to uh, move on Rostov. Let's see, we got Stalino right here. I wanna go I wanna go around it. Let's reinforce the fighters. Take a shot at these guys over here. Swing them around. Take another shot. Forces them back. But unfortunately, I cannot move in. Now swing the armor up here. Take a shot at the army. 
Give it another shot. And... Back here. We'll bring up this core. Take it out, and then hopefully I can move in. No, I cannot move in. Alright, move the army over there then. But we should be able to swing around, unless they reinforce, of course, next turn. We got this one can reinforce. And we got more Romanians coming up here. So, really threatening Stalino. now. After that, I think we'll take Vorostinograd as well, and then we are free to go into Rostov after that. Up here, the von Rundstedt army, or army group rather. Let's get the aircraft up to speed. Like that. And let's surround Kharkov. Uh, let's see, what do we do, what do we do? We can move these guys up here, take a shot at the... AA gun. Three damage. And then we can bring in the armor. And hopefully I'll get another shot. Yes. Ah, there we go. And move in. That surrounds Kharkov. Bring these guys up here and bring these guys back. Move these guys up here. Then move up there, there, and there. And then reinforce the uh, Slovakians. And let's move the headquarter forward a little bit. Kharkov has been surrounded. We also have Sumi surrounded. Let's blast it with some shells. Takes it down to seven, and then we can start moving in with the infantry. reinforced to full. Yes, let's do that. That's a uh, hundred points almost. And we also have these guys. What should they do? They can prepare to move around Belgorod. And then we have the uh, von Kukla, von Kukla, rather. Let's uh, surround Kursk. Move up here, move up there, move over there. And we got Kursk surrounded. I'll probably need some air power to uh, to get that broken up. And then we have the Italians. They've got a nice big pocket here, right next to Oral. So let's start working on that pocket. There's an armored train here that I'm trying to take out. See, we can move this one back here and move the army forward. Take another shot. And then I should be able to finish it off with this one. Just bring it back here. 
And then we got this one coming up to here. This one will just reinforce. And this one will take a cheap shot at these guys. These guys will move in and take a cheap shot. No, they will not do that. With this headquarter up here. Actually, we got the aircraft that we needed. Let's take out this core up here then. One damage. Then we should be able to take it out with the army. Yes. And that frees up the other units to move forward. Let me just check the partisan sign. We do need troops around here. Um, we can move forward like that. And that will secure that one. So I need some... I need a garrison in here. How far can we get this one? All right to... Where was it? I think it was over here. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we might want one in Gommel, which means we should put that one down here so that we um, we got steady supply coming through the Pribit marshes and through Gomel. That way we don't have to we don't have to garrison Chernigov because that's moot. As long as we got Kiev and Gomel going. Alright, back to here. Uh, the fighters will not move, but these guys up here. See these guys are without a headquarter. Or at least they should be. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so all these guys are without a headquarter. I want to bring this one in there. I'll break the headquarter in. There. Bring a couple more armies. And these guys will all attach to that next turn. Let's move up. Move up. And then... Just move up this way. That way and that way. And then we have the Visma front. No aircraft up here. I think I'll just do a prepare attack on it. And then switch around. And do it again. Easy peasy. Then we'll bring the... Yeah, now it doesn't have a zone of control, so we can just move around it and take a shot. That takes this map for us. And now we got the heavies. Why do we want to take the heavies? Should we move them up there? Yeah, in the woods they are not as good. How far up can we go? We can move the headquarter all the way up here. So let's move all the way up here. Moscow in sight. These are the first fortifications, there's nobody in there. Let's move the armies forward. Also take a shot at the AA gun down here. I just move these guys up as well. Alright, then we got this uh, army group up here. Heading for Rezev. Let's just see how far forward we can go. Go like this. Head corner up. Like that. We just 
just leave the armor on the trail. Up here. We got Luca last time, so we got a kind of opening here. Maybe I can exploit that somehow. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. We got bombers ready. Let's reinforce the fighters. And uh, let's bomb this uh, second tanks. time okay prepare attack prepare attack all right so do, 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 do. I guess we'll move these guys up we can move this army up and finish them off shattered and then move these guys forward. And move the armor up. Go in there. Go in there. Let's get the headquarter forward a little bit. And let's attack this one. Okay, it's gone. Move up. Move this one up. I still got one shot at this one. Let's attack with this army. Wow, that's a devastating breakthrough right here. Let's get the aircraft up here. Novgorod is safe for now, but I am only two tiles of Leningrad right now. The Finns will simply replenish. There's nothing for them to do right now. They're waiting for the Germans to come into the south, and they will move some of these guys out of the way. Further up here, we can move the Germans up here. And I think that concludes my moves. No, we got the garrisons. Gotta remember those guys. So, in the north, let's see. Piskov is very important. Actually, where's, uh, there is a railway going through Ostrov down this way to Luga. So actually Pescava is not needed, as long as we have this railway going north to south, and we do have that. So supplies can go through here, this way and up. So Pescava is not needed. Luga will be. Then we need something over here, Vitebsk. So I need one just north of Vitebsk. Let's see if we can put one there. That would be right there. And that will secure this partisan activity. We also need one in Smolensk. I can't go to Smolensk, but I can uh, I can get there next turn. And then we need someone out here, so I will move the other one close to that spot. And that will move in position next turn as well. In the south, let's see. We got one in Kiev already. We could put one in Sidomir, but we do have supplies coming through from the south. So I need one in Cherkasy. I need one in Dnieper. So let's put some guys there. One in... Chakasi and one in the Dnipro. What about further south? 
We got. Yeah, we need one over here once that is. We got two that we can deploy. We need one over here actually. So let's move on to corner top or as close as possible to that. Oh, I cannot op operate anymore. Okay, I have to do that next turn then. Fair enough. Zoom out a little bit. So, one, two, three hexes of Moscow. Two hexes of Leningrad. Stalingrad is still far away. Um, so, the question is, do I spend p more points on garrisons right now? Or do I have what I need? I think I have what I need this turn. We can always make more garrisons later. Let's take a look at the research. I'm happy with what I have. I'll continue with anti-tank, advanced tanks and advanced aircraft. Once they reach 4, I will go to 5. Then ground. Is, yeah, the rest actually, we're okay in. So, that means... And we got the diplomacy down, so purchasing is next. And I got five more armies that I can buy. We also have the Spanish now. They can get one army, two garrisons, a cavalry division and tanks. And we still got the Bulgarian headquarter. That would be That would be okay. Let's get the Bulgarian headquarter. I forgot to upgrade it and let's get them their army as well. They will be coming later in October. And then I'll save up the rest of the points for the Navy. The Italians will spend points on the Navy as well. So I'm not going to use any points for those guys. So that concludes the turn. See what's going on here. I don't know why it switched to this spot. And now it's reached up here. Graciari hit by rough seas. Gary Cooper and Ingrid Bergman star in Hemingway's For Whom the Bell Tolls. 1100 points for Germany and almost 200 for Italy. I think the German war machine is pretty much unstoppable at this point. The US would have to make a major landing in the west for this to open up. Let's see if I can spot some of the ships once they start moving out. And if the rough uh, weather stops, then I can use my enemy contact. That's good. One damage to the light. And I can use my aircraft to spot where the US Navy is. Soviets are moving around. Yeah, they are now starting to prepare the Moscow defense. That's pretty much what uh, what's going to what's gonna happen they're gonna defend that capital like crazy as we can see already that's just gonna be a slog I need some rockets lots of air power and just strong units to break through there we'll just take one hex at a time let's see how he defends Leningrad now we'll probably just and mass troops around it. Belfast is back to five.
but it has less um, fortification, so I should be able to get more strength off of it. So the bombers attacking the Romanian armor. And the Romanian interceptors are doing uh, the best they can. Lots of Soviet air presence down here. They're attacking here. And now my planes are doing a much better job. But I'm still a little bit behind. Yeah, they're trying to break that pocket open. And we got a destroyer attacking my sub. Submarine dives away. And hopefully the destroyer is stuck there. No, it's not. It can still go away. Short compartment and the destroyer moves out of the way. Same goes for the light cruiser. Did I forget to, yeah, I forgot to reinforce my submarine down there. Here's the British light cruiser. Attacks my uh, battle cruiser, and that can only end badly for the light cruiser. Also, the. Oh, there's plenty of US cruisers around still. The Spanish cruiser is getting hit, but it's well defended. So that's one, two, three, four cruisers and a destroyer right there that I can attack. The destroyer and one of the cruisers can still move away though. I got plenty of ships around. The Finns will defend. Sporadic Soviet counterattacks. They're trying to break up that, uh, break open that uh, pocket as well. Not going to happen. And Rostov will be defended. Cavalry. Yeah, the days of the cavalry is over. I'm afraid. They can still hunt partisans. Fins will not move. I already said that. <clears throat> okay, they um, went into my kind of trap. I just need the headquarter down there, and then I can, with help of air power, I can break up that army. Still no break up. They are supplied from Kharkov though. And from Kursk as well. Still trying. I just gotta remember to um, replenish it. I still have that destroyer up there. It's not really moving. The funny thing that I can see it actually.
So, uh, let's see here. Just replenishing. Do not seem to move units around Leningrad, at least not where I can see them. But Rostov will be well defended, it seems. away and I can see the cruiser over there that's good at least I should remember it's just south of that island more build up around Moscow The Leningrad Moscow railway line is still open. But I'll have it shut up soon shut off soon. And we'll have to go all around R Rubinsky Reservoir. And that's it. Give me some uh, intel please. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And we got the 20th Army ready to go. And we'll place that in the usual spot over here. And with that, it's time to put in a breakout. Well, thank you much for watching, and I'll see you next time, I hope. Take care, bye bye.